What's up, everybody? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an unboxing video to do for you guys, and this has been an unboxing video that has been months in planning, anticipation, and waiting. I got this box the other day from a upstart loot crate style service known as the Metalhead Box. Uh, they are operated out of Canada, and uh, let me give you the backstory as to how this all happened. I was contacted by one of the people who helped, who is behind this particular sort of service, and basically gave me the rundown of what it was, how it worked, and what was going to happen. It took a little bit to think about it because, you know, I can be a little bit apprehensive about things sometimes. But once I decided to do a little bit more sleuthing, so to speak, I reached out back, I was interested, gave, gave this, this person my details, and uh, all this time later we have the very first uh, Metalhead box, which I believe is the, for the month of December. But I got mine, I, I, I would say I got mine a little bit early. Now, I've been aware of people getting these sorts of packages in the mail, like monthly or bi-monthly sort of loot crates. Like, I've seen this with wrestling and and um, video games and assorted other sort of neat sort of uh, sort of uh, things and I was never really aware of ones that tied into metal or extreme music and what really piqued my interest about this whole metalhead box thing was I saw logos for Dark Descent Records and Unspeakable Acts and that was one of the key reasons why I wanted to give this particular sort of service a try in addition to the fact that they were advertising that there was going to be some high quality material in here. This wasn't just going to be, you know, photocopy or pasted anything. These are going to be real CDs, real shirts, real posters, real artwork, so on and so forth. So, got this box right here. Pretty decent size, kind of looks like, kind of has that shoebox sort of look to it. But it's probably more than that, so. I don't know what's in this. And we're going to find out together. So, yeah. Here we go. got to be careful about how I get something like this open. I'm surprised it got here in such a relatively good amount of time here. One little bit more left. The box is open. Now let's take a look at what we have here. Came with a little bit of a of a thank you letter, basically saying thank you for being in being involved with the Metalhead box for this month. And um, basically what this, this operation has to offer and information as to how to get a hold of them if you want to keep on getting more stuff from the Metalhead Box. So that's what this is. So let's see what, uh, let's see what we got in here. Little flyer card for what exactly the Metalhead Box is and what potential things could be, uh, could be in here. Oh shit. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> Got a Funko Pop figure. And apparently this is one of Lemmy Killmister from Motorhead. Uh, rest in peace, Lemmy. I've I've seen friends I've seen some friends of mine show this and, and, and have this. I know some friends who are into this type of Funko Pop stuff, but this is fucking badass. Of course, these things look really adorable, and a lot of these are, are D 
detailed for pretty much anything Disney, Marvel, DC, TV shows, horror movies, wrestling, comedy, uh, television dramas, all that type of stuff. But this is fucking cool. I'm not, I'm not going to take it out of the box or anything. I'll just leave it as it is because I want to leave it to some, some nice little preservations going on here. But yeah, Funko Pop is... the These pop figures are so fucking cool. Wow. This is fucking badass. Funko Pop figure from... Uh, with Let Me Kill Mister of Motorhead. Fucking sweet, man. It appears there are some t-shirts in here. So let's see what type of t-shirts we have in this particular box. For the first t-shirt. Oh shit. Got a Mayhem shirt. Very nice Mayhem shirt here. Of course the true Mayhem. Got these nice little knives going on here. Very, very badass quality on this. And we got one on the back. Grand Declaration of War. Crazy artwork here. I heard from a bird that this is Sean Count Blagareth's favorite Mayhem record, so... And I've had a Grand Declaration of War shirt. I, I have a Grand Declaration of War Mayhem shirt, but this is a newer one, so I'll probably put this one to more certain use here, but um, this is pretty damn badass. Very good quality shirt here, Mayhem Grand Declaration of War t-shirt. Very, very badass quality here. And we're going to take a look at t-shirt number two here. And I gotta correct myself, this is the November box. This is for the month of November. I said December, but I said wrong, it was November, so. Let's see what we got here. Oh shit. Electric Wizard. Got an Electric Wizard t-shirt going on here. And this was of the last full length that they put out, uh, Time to Die. This is basically an album cover t-shirt of uh, that particular record. Really good quality here. And I don't have any Electric Wizard t-shirts. I've had music, but I've never had shirts. So this is fucking cool. Very, very fucking cool. We have the back of the shirt here. This uh, cross-like figure with 666 on it. Because this is pretty much devil drug music. That's what uh, a band like um, Electric Wizard is all about. They're all about drugs and weed and Satan and all that shit. And sexy women. So yeah, very, very badass Electric Wizard t-shirt. Very good quality on this as well. Very, very cool. I was thinking there was going to be only one shirt, but it's nice that there's two shirts in this. Fucking love that. Okay. Got a little um, baggie here. I don't know what's in this baggie, but we're going to find out uh, real quick here. Fumigation? Pretty big button here. Never heard of this band, but I'll have to look them up. Uh, your death metal pest control specialists. Little business card here. Yeah, fumigation. Very, very interesting. Sticker for this fumigation stuff. Got a death sticker. Scream bloody gore skull right here. And the sticker says, Life will never last. Very, very true. It's a very neat sticker here, so I'm gonna put everything back in this little mini baggie here. Okay, we have a, got a little envelope here. what we got here. I believe these are the postcards or the uh, these high quality photographs and for one we got one of James Murphy who is a very well regarded and respected guitar player. I believe this is an autographed uh, postcard which is very very cool. Of course he played in obituary, he played in death, he does mixing and mastering stuff. This guy's a fucking legend and a warrior so this is a really cool thing to see here. 
This is very, very nice. I just showed Mayhem not too long ago. We got something old school from Mayhem here. Little postcard of Euronymous? I want to say this is Euronymous, but yeah, this is uh, Takardi. Maxime Takardi. Uh, he, he does artwork. He does hand-drawn artwork, but he also does artwork with his blood, which is incredibly insane, and I don't know how much of a mad genius this guy can be to to draw draw things with his own blood. I mean, he's done Dark Throne album covers, Bathory artwork, Emperor covers. I mean, if you follow his music, if you follow his Facebook or his bands or whatever, this guy's a tormented genius, and this is a really, really nice thing to see. This is, this is something that could be framed. I could possibly frame something like this. Really, really fucking badass. And, um... It appears we have some CDs in here. Got some CDs in here. And, um... Yeah, this is fucking badass. I remember this band very, very well here. I'm not gonna take any of these out because these are brand new unopened CDs here, but uh, we got, first off, we have the band uh, Hot Graves with uh, Knights in White Phosphorus. Hot Graves is fucking badass. Uh, I talk about Gore Growler's Ball a lot here, but uh, this is one of the bands that I remember specifically from Gore Growler's Ball. They have that almost black metal punk sort of aesthetic going on. Uh, I remember very fondly their guitar player had a really cool hot pink guitar. Um, really, really good stuff. They were a fun live band, and I believe this band is still actively, consistently making music. Really, really excellent stuff. I'm really, really happy to own some music from this band. Finally. Hot Graves, Knights in White Phosphorus. <laughs> Got some Dark Descent CDs here. Yes! Fuck yes, man. And both of these are 2016 releases. These are brand new albums. And both of these I've listened to before they even came out, luckily. And I can safely say that these albums are fucking incredible. And this first one here is Ruinous. This is the debut album from Ruinous entitled Graves of Ceaseless Death. Um, US-based death metal band, I believe Alex Books, who you played in Funebrarum and Incantation, is involved with this band. A lot of heavy hitters are playing on, on, on an album like this. And this is some straight up excellent US death metal very, very impressive debut, and I believe Ruinous is going to have some long-lasting qualities going forward in the realms of the extreme music underground. So, yeah. Ruinous have a really awesome debut album here with um, Graves of Ceaseless Death. And the last thing that comes in this box is definitely an album that I could see being in my personal top 20 of this year, or top 10. Either one of those two. And this is the new album from Crypts entitled Remnants of Expansion. Absolutely mandatory finished death metal. This is such a great, great band. Their debut album from a couple of years ago was really, really awesome, but this new album continues on in the right path that their previous album, uh, uh, pro their previous album took. And just some incredible vocal work, great lyrics, great music. Finnish death metal is some of the best death metal you'll ever hear in your life. And with an album like uh, Remnants of Expansion, Crips really set the bar high this time with this particular record. This is just an absolutely amazing piece of Finnish death metal. And uh, one of the very best albums of 2016. So, yeah. That's everything. I'm very, very pleased and impressed with everything that's in this box. I am super happy and grateful that I was given the opportunity to be a part of this and to receive something from this. And hopefully, if, uh, if the time's right, I can participate and uh, get involved more with something like this. So, um, I gotta say a very special thank you to Melissa from the Metalhead Box for making this all possible. Thank you for having some faith in me to, to do something like this and for sending me something as amazing as this. I am incredibly, incredibly grateful to this. So um, I'm going to leave you a link in the description box to, as, as to how you can get a hold of the Metalhead Box to their website where you can participate in future um, uh, Metalhead Box uh, things, loot crates. So you can sign up for however many months you want to do it. It's really, really awesome, and uh, I do wish this um, 
this operation nothing but continued success. This is a very, 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 very good way to get things started and get the ball rolling. So, yeah, support the Metalhead Box. I'm going to conclude this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. And until the next time, Armijo out.